so since uh, you know we are uh, a smart home energy monitor, uh, so that's a it's a piece of hardware that installs in your home in your electrical panel, uh, and it uses machine learning to figure out from the electrical signal there uh, what devices are on in your house and how much power they're using in real time, and this really uh, by getting this really detailed view of what's happening in your house, we. Uh, we enable users to take control of their energy footprint and save money on their bills and, and reduce their energy consumption. This is really important, not just because it provides a benefit to our users, but because our mission as a company is to fight climate change and to, uh, to do that by reducing global carbon emissions. So empowering users through this unique data uh, about their energy consumption lets us help them uh, in, in this fight. Um, we have a, a successful product in the market today and we're really excited about the next couple of years uh, because we have uh, really ambitious plans uh, on how to take this to the next level. And that's really on two levels. Uh, on, one, on one level, it's about scale. You know, we as a company, we want to have a real impact and that means uh, we want to be in every home. So that is uh, something we're working on accomplishing uh, with the help of some major global strategic uh, partners. And we're working with these partners, uh, companies like Schneider Electric and Landis and Gear who make uh, electrical infrastructure that goes into houses. We're working with them to, to get the Sense technology built into the electrical infrastructure. So today you can buy a Sense monitor uh, you know, on Amazon or from our website and get it installed. You know, in the future, in the near future, uh, you know, it will just come as part of your house, as part of your electrical panel, as part of your electric meter. And so that will really get us, you know, the, the kind of scale we're looking for. And then the second piece is, you know, we have this uh, really uh, exciting consumer roadmap, you know, where we're taking our existing product, we're adding intelligence and automation that will further empower our consumers and also help utilities make the grid more efficient and reliable. Well, I'm happy to be able to say that, you know, the, the team I'm working with at Sense uh, is the best one I've, I've ever had the opportunity to work with, um, which is, uh, you know, it's just, it's just a pleasure to come in every day. Um, and, and, you know, I think there's a couple uh, key things about engineering at Sense. One is we have a lot of uh, really interesting, uh, hard technical challenges. Um, and we have a team of people that, is, you know, that really loves to, to work together uh, to solve those those challenges, and it's it's really about you know how can we come together as a team, and come up with solutions uh, to these problems, and really move the product and the company forward, you know, in service of our of our mission. Um, so so you you know it's a place where you can really see the direct impact of your work on the product. You can see the impact on the users, uh, and you know really get a get a sense that your work is actually making a difference, and. And you know, because we have this mission of, of trying to actually, you know, to, to fight climate change and do something good, you know, it gives that extra feeling that you know, you know, when you're coming into to well to virtual work right now, um, every day, uh, you know, you're actually making a real difference. You know, so we, like I said, uh, we 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 are a consumer uh, hardware product, um, so. You know, there is a, a physical hardware component um, that we build. And so, you know, there's, there's this IoT component. Um, we're generating a ton of data uh, all the time from these things, uh, you know, in, installed in users' homes. And there's a strong real-time component as well. So, uh, and then layered on top of that uh, is, is all the proprietary machine learning we do. So we kind of, uh, you know, span, span a range of uh, kind of interesting technical challenges and that means we also have a, a pretty tall uh, and varied tech stack. Uh, so it goes all the way from uh, the firmware level. Um, so it, we're, you know, it's basically a little Linux computer running uh, a mix of, uh, of Rust, Python, and C. Um, then we have obviously a cloud component on uh, AWS that is uh, Java microservices. We use an open source framework called Drop Wizard. Um, and then that's backed uh, by a bunch of different data stores. Um, we use Cassandra, MySQL, Timescale DB. Um, we also use ActiveMQ as our, our messaging. Um, 
then you know we've got the uh, a range of different consumer and uh, and uh, partner facing apps uh, on Android, iOS, and web. So iOS is uh, is uh, Swift with a little bit of Objective C, and Android is uh, Kotlin and Java. And then on the front end side, uh, all of our web apps are built on React. Yeah, I and mean, this is something that uh, you know we we put a lot of thought into, especially now that. Uh, you know, we're in this remote landscape um, where we can't have people actually come in face-to-face. Uh, -face. Uh, so the process uh, is uh, we start off with a, a phone screen, just a sort of initial, um, you know, it, could this possibly be a match? That's a, you know, a short, short phone screen interview. Um, and then the next step is a, a couple of, uh, of technical interviews designed sort of twofold. Uh, there's a live coding challenge through CoderPad that's really more about uh, your ability to broadly problem solve and explain uh, and translate ideas to code. It's not a syntactic challenge. It's not remembering obscure bits of data. It's really kind of working collaboratively with your interviewer to see, kind of talk through a problem and see, and see how you work. Um, you know, where it is not an adversarial, uh, we're very explicit about it, not being an adversarial type of uh, coding challenge. Uh, and then the second half, uh, is going to be specific to the type of role you're interviewing for, which is more of a deep dive technical uh, discussion, um, you know, just face, you know, or, or, you know, over Zoom, um, where, for example, you would dig into some of the, your knowledge around, say, iOS or, or backend or something like that. Um, that's really to sort of complement, there's, there's sort of the problem solving piece and then the domain specific piece. So that's the technical side. And then uh, the, the, the next piece is a, a team interview. Um, so we have you know, two or three people uh, kind of in a, in a round table discussion, really to get a sense for you know, what do you like to work with as a, as a teammate? Um, and you know, how do you communicate? And then there's uh, usually a final round with one of the hiring managers, uh, myself or one of our other two uh, engineering managers. And that's the process. So, uh, so it, since um, you know we're still small, we're as a company we're about 50 people. Uh, the software team uh, is about about a dozen uh, and growing right now. And you know, one of the things that we we really are being very careful about as we grow is trying to uh, to maintain and nurture uh, the culture that we that we've developed so far because we're we're really happy with where we are today, um, and and generally. You know, people people tend to find it to be a, a really good place to work. Um, a couple of the things that stand out, you know, from the discussions that we've had about our culture, uh, you know, a, a few highlights. Uh, one is there's a, a collaborative, uh, helpful attitude um, to people at Sense. You know, we have team players uh, who really, you know, are are about how how can I help move things forward. Um, they're they're can do and positive. Um, and they also really important are, are empathetic and respectful and listen to their teammates, you know, so it's, it's, uh, you know, trying to figure out together, how do we solve problems and, and, you know, at the end of the day, that's, that's what everyone is there for. So that's a, that's a big piece. Uh, and then, you know, a second big component is, you know, we have a team of people who who take the initiative, they take the ownership and, and take pride in their work. Uh, and, you know, they are able to take a problem and run it to the ground uh, and deliver on the commitments they make. But they don't do that in isolation. And, you know, kind of going back to the first point, they, they really uh, enjoy doing that with other people uh, and doing that in a kind of, you know, uh, non-blaming uh, uh, atmosphere environment. And then finally, I would say the third thing that's kind of in common uh, across the team here uh, is, you know, we're a bunch of curious uh, problem solvers, you know, and as a, we have a lot of technical challenges to solve and there's a lot of stuff to learn, you know, from the different teams here uh, and across our, our tech stack. And so, you know, people who like to come in and figure things out and, and learn something new, you know, really gonna have a good time. And I'd say the final thing is, you know, we. We are an experienced team. Uh, we, there's a bunch of us who have several successful startups under our belt, uh, and we, you know, we recognize the importance of working smart and not just 
you know, like maniacs all the time. Um, and so, you know, things like work-life balance and, and family are, are important to us as well. So, you know, we are, we, uh, we, we know what it takes to succeed and we also know what it takes to, you know, to have a team be, uh, you know, motivated and happy and, and really engaged uh, in some exciting work. I think this is a super exciting time um, for us at Sense, you know, looking ahead, uh, you know, the, the two, two major things I would say is, you know, one, we're, we're poised at this point now where, where we have these major strategic partnerships uh, that we're, we're delivering on, integrating with these, with these uh, third party products and infrastructure that are really going to get us to some exciting scale and impact. So there's this sort of scaling on the product side. There's also on the roadmap side, uh, you know, all kinds of new technology and uh, ambitious new projects that we have planned out um, over the next, you know, couple of years. You know, where the fact that we have a product in the market, you know, that's really just a foundation, uh, a starting point for what we want to do next. And we're really excited to be, uh, you know, to be pushing our technology and and extending the product. Um, and you know, we're growing now. Um, to be able to take on those ambitions. And so this is, a, this is a cool time to join because people who are joining now are gonna have the chance to, to help shape our product and our architecture and our tools and our processes as we grow uh, and you know, really have a, a significant impact uh, on the company and the product.